In the last tutorial, you learned how to update a single record using the update statement. Now, if you want to update multiple records, the syntax is exactly the same, but the condition that you type out here has to be more general. For example, back to the invoices table, we can see that we have multiple invoices for client number three. We can write a statement to update all the invoices for this client. So back to our core editor window, we change our condition to where client ID equals to three. However, if you execute this statement with MySQL Workbench, which is the software we've been using in this course, you're going to get an error because by default, MySQL Workbench runs in the safe update mode. So it allows you to update only a single record. You're not going to have this problem if you use another client for MySQL or if you write this statement in your application code. This is only specific to MySQL Workbench. Now let me show you how to get around this. So on the top, we go to MySQL Workbench menu and then Preferences. On this dialog box, on the left side, click on SQL Editor. And then down the bottom, untick this checkbox, Save Updates. So this prevents you from accidentally updating or deleting a bunch of records in a table. So let's go ahead with this. Now we need to reconnect to this instance of MySQL. So let's copy all the code here and close this local instance window. All right. Now on the home page, double click this connection to reconnect. There you go. And then paste all that SQL code. Now let's execute this. Beautiful. All the invoices for client number three were updated. Here we can also use the in operator. Let's say we want to update all the invoices for client number three and number four. So all the operators you learn to use in the where clause also apply here. Now, technically, this where clause is optional. So if you want to update all the records in a table, you simply leave it out. All right, here's your exercise for this tutorial. Back to our SQL store database, write a SQL statement to give any customers born before 1990 50 extra points. All right, first I'm going to use SQL store, then write an update statement to update the customer's table, set the points to points plus 50. So here we are using an expression to update the points column for anyone born before 1990. So where birth date is less than 1990, January 1st. All right, let's execute this query. All right, now let's open up the customer's table one more time. So anyone who was born before 1990 now has an extra 50 points.